I wanted to talk about the Corey Seager slash shortstop dilemma that the Yankees have in this upcoming offseason. If you don't know, this free agent class is absolutely stacked. This is probably the best shortstop class in the history of baseball. There are big names everywhere. You got Marcus Simeon, Trevor Story, Corey Seager, Carlos Correa, Javier Baez. Like those are five of the best shortstops in baseball right there, and they're all free agents. If you want to go a little cheaper, you got players like Anderton Simmons, who are still amazing defensively. Like you want a top shortstop, you can buy one this off season. You want a player to build your franchise around, you can get one of those players this off season. But it creates a little bit of a problem with the Yankees right now. And that problem is the farm system has a lot of really, really good shortstops. So if we sign one of them, they're going to be blocked for a very long time. What I'm talking about is we have Anthony Volpe, the number 11 prospect or 15th prospect in all of baseball, just a year or two away from being able to play. He's only 20 years old, and he hit 30, 27 home runs, around 100 games in the minors. Also swiped 33 bags. He's a good fielder, good shortstop. It makes you consider, should the Yankees spend on one of these players that are only really going to be useful for a year and then block a lot of the talent. I mean, don't get me wrong. Seager solves pretty much every problem the Yankees have. We need another left-handed bat who hits for contact and has some good power. Seager has all of this. He's hit 306 last season, and his 162-game average is 26 home runs. Plays good defense. Left-handed bat, he's 27. He would solve every single one of the problems that the Yankees have, and it really does make this dilemma tougher. You get Corey Seager, he has a qualifying offer, you're going to lose a draft pick. Makes it a lot more difficult there. Do we? Will the Yankees wait a year and say, hmm, you know, let's let's wait for our young talent, or do they say, let's give the big pro- talent, <clears throat> let's give the big contract to one of these shortstops, and maybe trade the talent, or just move them to a different position. Makes it very tough. Now, this is a good problem to have. I mean, I'll take too much talent than too little, but it it is just really, really tough in my mind. I mean, we got Volpe, we got Sweeney, we got Oswald Peraza, who's a year away. We got Roderick Arias, um, international signing, who's like 17. It's looking to be amazing. So, my solution to this problem is not spending the big money on a shortstop. I would be spending all the big money on a first baseman. We have Voight for like two more years, but he's like 33. You know, he's getting older, and he's been injury prone. He's very injury prone. So, what I want to see the Yankees do it's either try to trade for a guy like Matt Olson. I know a lot of people are saying to trade for him. We would have to give up a big prospect to do that, which is probably the reason why I'm more hesitant on that, but I would still like that. In my mind, it would make no sense if you trade Volpe to get Olsen, and then you don't sign a big free agent shortstop. Like, what's the point of that? <laughs> you know, it, it doesn't make sense there. So, I, I, I could see us trading for a big first baseman, but... The guy I, the two players I'm interested in this offseason are Freddie Freeman and Brandon Belt. I mean, Freeman's a year removed from the MVP reward, hit 300 this year with 31 home runs. Belt, in 97 games, hit 29 home runs. Like, he would have easily hit 40 home runs. He's another lefty. You know, a little more, little more strikeout. Strikes out a little more than Freeman. But it's for a lower average, but has crazy power. I mean, Belt and Yankee Stadium is a guaranteed 40 home runs. Probably 50, so. That would be my solution to the shortstop dilemma. Signing a big um, first baseman this offseason. Because we don't really have the talent there in the minors. And then, you know, you could try to trade Luke Voigt and get a pitcher or something. So, that would be my solution to the shortstop dilemma that the Yankees have.